Hello, this is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. I haven't made a video for a while, and uh, it was a long winter. But the uh, weather's starting to get nice now. I'm ready to get back to my experimenting. And uh, last video you saw, the uh, massive 93 plate cell. Um, I have reconfigured it to run off of 120-volt uh, uh, DC rectified DC from your house current and just want to let everyone know if you do like this video um, you can click on my name Delvis11 should be right up there in the corner and that'll take you to my channel where I have uh, a lot of other videos uh, that you can view on HHO technology to give you an idea how big this cell is I wanted to show you some of the other cells that I build. This guy here is a 16 plate dry cell and this is the one we sell for, for four cylinders. A little bit bigger than that is a 21 plate cell, dry cell, and we sell that for uh, V6 vehicles. And this is, the, this is our new cell. This is a twin twin stack um, 32 plate cell this is one we sell for V8 vehicles so to give you an idea this is a pretty big cell this is a massive cell and it actually measures just about 10 inches thick so it's huge and it's about almost 11 11 inches the other other direction by 11 that way each one of these plates in here is a 9 by 9 made out of 22 gauge stainless steel what we're going to do is uh, I haven't had this hooked up to uh, house current yet but I'm going to use a little rectifier and we're going to put 120 volts DC through this. I've got it set up. Uh, last time, last video, this was a 93 plate. This video, there's 118 plates in here. 118 9 by 9 plates. So you can imagine what kind of production is going to come out of this. Um, so what we've got here is this far end right here. It's going to be our positive and right here will be our negative. And the same thing with this side, set up exactly the same way. So there's 57 neutrals in here on each side. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook the rest of this up and uh, we'll fire it up and see what she does. Okay, I wanted to show everyone the electrical system I'll have hooking, hooked up to this. What we've got here is uh, I've got 8 gauge wire coming into this box. In the bottom of this box I have a bridge rectifier. What the bridge rectifier allows me to do is to take AC current and change it back to DC current so that we can run the hydrogen generator. Got a uh, twist lock plug that will be plugged into an 8000 watt generator. So I'll be able to deliver 7 to 8000 watts to the hydrogen generator. coming out of the uh, box here, we also have a switch, turn it off and on, coming out of the box here we've got our positive and negative leads that will hook up to the, uh, to the generator alright we've got the plumbing all hooked up now and I wanted to go through this with you on the dry cell itself we have a port on either side 
this is where the water and the HHO is going to enter in to the reservoir here right on both sides then we've got a port on the bottom both sides this is where the water will come back down from the reservoir into the bottom of the dry cell out the top of the dry cell or excuse me out the top of the reservoir the HHO gas will come over to the bubbler and this bubbler is big for a reason So I need to be able to stop a flashback with 20 liters a minute coming out of this. So this is a uh, water filtration canister, one of the bigger ones. It'll bubble through that and out the output, output tube and that'll go to torch, engine, five gallon bucket of water, whatever we decide to put it into. On the other side of the bubbler, I've got a flash, a flash port. In case I do get a flashback, it'll blow through right there. All right, all we have left now is to hook up the power, and uh, I'm going to do a leak check, and then uh, going to do a voltage check after that. Put some water in here and do a leak check. Looks like it's producing, but it's just drawing the water down into the cell. The cell itself holds about a gallon. Just let it sit for a bit. Check for some leaks. Then we'll hook the power up to it. All right. Here's to be no leaks, so everything's a go there. No leaks in the dry cell. Gone. I've hooked up the electrical. Right here, positive and negative, goes into my box, and that goes out to the generator, which I'm sure you can hear in the background. 8,000 watt generator. They want to do a uh, voltage check now. I'm not even really sure I can do it with one hand, but give it a try. We should have. Uh, Funny thing is, uh, it's off right now, and I'm getting about nine volts to it. I don't know what that's from. Maybe it's a cheap rectifier. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it on. Shouldn't get any gas production right now. There's absolutely no electrolyte in it. Okay, it's about right. Actually, I thought it would be more around the 150 volt, but 157 volts, 158. That's fine. What I want to do is I want to measure and see what we're getting in between each plate. And I want to do that without shocking myself. And I want to do that with one hand. I really need to get a tripod. There we go. Two point six nine volts, so that is perfect right in the range we need to be in. 